he's, aren't you? You're fighting against everything that your body is saying. <laughs> your mm. body's saying run away, but you're brave and you stay there and you try and make it work, don't you? And so Joss is a hero in that <laughs> It's, it's such a big thing for any parent to have happen to them. And the road to happiness is the road of acceptance and it's the road then of saying, well, this is what we have and how can we make everything better? When you celebrate what you have with an autistic person, you find that there's a whole other world that comes alive. Joss lives now. He lives for the immediacy of, of now. What being with him has taught me is that that is not a bad thing. But that's a good thing. Living in the moment means that you're fully engaged in the moment, and I've learned that really from Joss. Yeah. The other thing that I've learned is how to love in a way that I didn't know was possible. No, Joss, that's not funny. It would hurt you a lot. Step back, please. Throw the leaves in. As kids grow up, you have to separate from them. You have to prepare yourself for them, make, for throwing them out the nest. But, you know, Joss will never go out of my nest. I don't have to do that. I can stay. You know, we didn't cut our cord, so, yeah. I wouldn't change Joss for anything. I wish Joss's world was better for him, but he is who he is. His autism is integral. It's literally part of his DNA. And, and that's who Stevie and I love 100%. there was some way that we could be normal. Well, I bet the people around us, our parents and teachers, would be ecstatic with joy and say, we'll change them back to normal right now. But now, even if somebody developed a medicine to cure autism, I might well choose to stay as I am. I've learned that every human being, with or without disabilities, needs to strive to do their best. And it's the striving for happiness that is the happiness. For us, you see, having autism is normal. So we can't know for sure what your normal is even like. But so long as we can learn to love ourselves, I'm not sure how much it matters whether we're normal or autistic. I hope you can come to understand that all the obstacles which present themselves don't come from our selfishness or from ego. If all of you can grasp this truth about us, we are handed a ray of hope. However hard an autistic life is, however sad it can be, so long as there's hope, we can stick at it. <laughs>